10. 10 years. 10 is the denomination that's used universally for counting. Why don't we count till 2? Like binary, the way computers do. Or some other number, like other systems. So this explains the significance of the number 10 that God created the world with the 10 attributes. Supernal attributes, three intellectual, Chabad, six emotional, Chagas and Nehi, and then Malchus kingship, which receives all of them and brings about action. Numbers represent quantifying something material world, creation, and what's mirrored spiritually is represented in physical. Ten years ago, when we embarked on this mission, disseminate Torah and Chassidus, open the preschool, say Clifton community, the first people that we met, I vividly recall going over to the Joseph's house sitting on their sofa, and their excitement and bubbliness, they were thrilled that Chabad is moving to town. I also vividly recall, had to be in the first two months that we were here, Abba David coming to visit us in our attic on 80 Acrig, where we would bump our head if we went in the wrong direction. And we had a nice discussion, and he was also very excited that Chabad moved to town. And Mora Yelet was our first year teacher. She was the Mora of Levi Joseph, who was our first year student. And it's these families, the foundation, 10 years, that have brought intellect, have brought emotion and action to the Chabad house, and we would truly appreciate and have a Kara Satayv for their commitment throughout all the years and their dedication intellectually, emotionally, and in action and financially. Thank you very much for joining us this evening and for your support in honor of our honorees and in honor of Rebbe and Miriam. Thank you very much. So this year, Chabad of Isaac is honoring an amazing group. The Gerands, the Cranes, the Josephs, the 10th anniversary. And what's so amazing about it is the diverse, uh, di di the, the diverse community that Chabad has affected. The Gerands, teacher, pharmacist, the Josephs, an actress, a lawyer, and uh, so on. And to me, it just illustrates what, 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 what Chabad has accomplished and what the, what the JLI can accomplish as, as we move forward into the 11th year. So I'd like to wish Chabad a Mazel Tov. Thank you, Rabbi Mrs. Seebeck, for what you've done for our family and for the community. Uh, and may you go from strength to strength as you move on into your 11th year in Pesach. I wish a Mazel Tov to uh, Arya Leib and Alyssa Joseph. They're wonderful people, wonderful B'nai Torah. Um, Arya Leib is very erudite to uh, Talmud Chacham. He comes to all our shiurim and asks good kashas and uh, is also uh, aspiring for a master's in English history. And he always wants to learn and uh, he's able to combine this with doing chesed and uh, trying to do the utmost for his children. Alyssa is a renowned writer and uh, a very kind person and also strives to be the best mother she can to do for her children the best she can. And uh, they uh, change their lives around by coming close to Hashem. And um, their efforts <clears throat> where they strengthen the Chabad in town is... Uh, uh, a wonderful model and paradigm for everyone in the community and I want to wish them good health and happiness in all their endeavors 
and uh, may their children flourish and uh, may they go mechal lechal. So how did it all start? It started here at Chabad. Um, my uh, Shana was uh, Shana had gone to uh, Chabad in Manhattan before we moved here, so she was too old for the program when we got here. But uh, my younger son Levy was one of the first students in the school, and uh, it was a great it's a great school. And um, Shana Shana started coming here, and she started to participate as a leader in the when she was very young in the children's program and that's where she fell in love with taking care of kids taking care of people which is why I'm glad she's not studying business and um, then she um, she worked here uh, I think for a summer or two and she took care of babies which is like the hardest thing to do is take care of babies and um, so that changed her life and the Rabbi Seabag uh, changed Dovey's life <laughs> Uh, and uh, the school changed Levy's life and the show. And um, Musya, our youngest, Chaim Mushka, um, has a best friend. And uh, we're never allowed to move. We're not going to move to Tinak, we're not going to move to England, and we're not going to move to Israel because uh, we won't be separated from Yochev and Seabag. The reason we ever got involved with the Seabags or they ever got involved with us is really because of the Lubavitcher Rebbe. And I want to say, when I was a student at Mechon Chana years ago, <laughs> I, um, I wanted to see what the Rebbe was like on a regular afternoon. So I went there like, like I'd go there like on a Tuesday at 2. And you would see with the Rebbe, he was like one mitzvah. It, the mitzvah I don't know where the mitzvah ended. There was no such thing as one mitzvah and then, you know, kind of like hanging out and then another mitzvah. Every moment of his day was so intentional and he'd wash his hands and the hand would be moving towards the cup. He'd wash his hands and then the hands would be moving towards the towel with the bracha, the hands moving then to the sitter. It was, he never was outside of a mitzvah. It was amazing to see a tzaddik in the, in the flesh, like a walking, like a Torah. It was, the, the mitzvah was continuous, it was a work of art, the way the Rebbe lived. And um, none of us would be connected the way we are. The world wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for the Lubavitcher Rebbe in Brooklyn. Well, I, I met the Cranes when I came to Passaic 14 years ago when I got married. And since then, I've learned with Avraham almost every Shabbos afternoon for 14 years. And he, uh, Avraham compliments my learning and we learn together well. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I see that Mrs. Crane is uh, raising the ch children. And I see the way she works with other children. I've seen her help a child with anxiety come out of her shell. And I, I think they're incredible people. I'm very honored to know Avram and Ayala Crane. They're, very, they're wonderful people that all of us could learn many great lessons from. I know that I, I see the way Avram Dobbins, I see the way Ayala takes care of her children and what she does, what they both do secretly behind the scenes for many people in the community is nothing short but of, of amazing. Um, uh, nobody knows a lot of the, the chesed that they do and they don't want anybody to know the chesed that they do, but they do so much good for so many people. There's so many people in the town that rely upon them for advice, um, for, lending, for a helping hand, somebody to talk to when they're having tough times and somebody to be a good friend. And I've always seen them be good friends, not just to me, but to many, many other people. I'm, I'm very honored to know them, and, I, and they are so deserving of tonight, like you have no idea, for all the good that they do for so many people. Mrs. Crane does so many wonderful things for many children, many, many women in the community. And Avon Crane is such a wonderful inspiration to many of the men who see the way he davens, the way he learns, the way he talks gently to other people. I started Chaitats it was 10 years ago with my daughter Rachelea. 
and I loved it. I was an assistant um, to the toddler class. And then about four years ago, um, Miriam Seba called me up again to take over the class. Um, and I came in as main teacher. I was a bit nervous, but as I was thrust into being a main teacher, I realized how much I love being a main teacher. Previously, I, was, I had a playgroup with a partner who was the main teacher, and I really enjoyed seeing her teach. Um, but being thrust as a main teacher in Miriam C. Beck's school, I realized just how much I love teaching, um, sensing what I'm learning, visualizing what I'm learning, and touching what I'm teaching the kids, and making it alive for them. And I realized that this is my passion, helping these kids learn and grow, and at the same time, I could myself grow and learn with them. And now, teaching with Miriam Seabag again, um, <clears throat> in the 10th year of her program, it just feels really, really good. Um, even though it's challenging to get my kids out in the morning and running at home, but when I go to school and I see the kids thriving, and I see the kids learning, and I see the kids developing their skills, their social, emotional, um, fine, gross motor skills, and blossoming and thriving, it makes me feel really good to know that this is what I'm doing and for the right reasons that I'm here teaching them. There's a JLI course going right now. My wife is attending this one while I watch the kids. Um, to explore, to, to connect to the Chabad, not only as a place to daven, which is a beautiful place to daven, as I said, it's very warm. Chabad is known to be not judgmental. It's very opening, very open, and open to all uh, types of people, religious, not religious, all stripes, nobody is judged. It's a very warm Hamish place where people can attach themselves to their core. They can feel comfortable and find their own spirituality. We, the Selzers, are so happy to have Liva Tova at Chaitas because she is warm and happy and has a wonderful environment where she can grow and flourish. It's just like the best feeling to be able to leave your child in such a warm environment. And I pick him up, he has a big smile on his face and they're observing him in his play. They give me feedback on what foods he likes, how he takes naps, how he's enjoying the other kids and the projects and all the themes. Just gives you a really good sense of how he's doing and how much he's enjoying the program. High Tots is amazing. I would definitely recommend it. Um, I love sending Leora there, even though she's a little baby. She's learning colors, she's learning numbers, she's learning shapes already. They're doing so much with her, even though she's so little. It's not just babysitting. Um, they're also teaching her to share and to play with her other friends, and she has so much fun here all the time. And they keep the curriculum moving, they keep it growing. She comes back, she learns things that I've never heard of, and she's telling me these things that she knows. It's amazing. And for a full-time working mom, I'm away from her, unfortunately, most of the day during the week. So it's nice to know that she's being stimulated the way I'd want her to be stimulated. She's learning things that I, I'm happy she's learning. She comes home with songs and she sings along. She says, please, and thank you, and you're welcome. <laughs> and it's great. She's really thriving. She loves it. She's happy. We're happy. We feel good here. I'd like to thank you all for celebrating with us these past successful 10 years together. I look forward to spending the next 10 and many more years together growing Chabad of Pisei Clifton and Chaitat's Preschool. A special thank you to our wonderful honorees. Without your support, we would not be here tonight. And a most special thank you to my husband, Rabbi Seabag, whose perseverance and commitment and dedication to the people at Chabad and the people that he serves and loves and cares about and the children that he teaches.